Good morning, love bugs. Today, we are going to start off with our learning target that says, I can put together sounds in words. So I'm going to say the sounds in the word. You are going to have to put together those sounds to tell me the word I'm saying. So if I said, sh, a, w, er, you would say, shower. Listen again. Sh, a, w, er. Shower. Great job. Now it's your turn. I can put together sounds in words. Ready? Sh, a, m, p, u. Shampoo. Good job. S, o, p, soap. E -nk. sink. Great job. Now I'm going to see if I can trick you. I'm going to give you a word that has lots of sounds. Can you put together all of these sounds? Oh, I wonder if I get to trick you today. Ready? Listen, please. T, u, th, b, r, a, sh. Did you say toothbrush? Oh, I tried so hard to trick you. You are too smart. Kiss your brain. I am so proud of you. How do you feel you did on putting together sounds and words? Great job. I bet everybody feels about right here. All right, my friends. We're going to also look at our vowels and our digraphs because those sounds are written as letters. Eyes up, I can. Identify and say letter names and sounds. Echo me, say A, A. I, I. E, E. O, A. U, A. Two letters that work together to make one sound. Say qua, as in quickly. Say th, as in think. Th, as in that. Sh. As in hush, ch, as in chocolate, ng, as in sing. Great job going over your digraphs and your vowels today. Now I want to challenge you as we look at our story today to see if you can find those digraphs in our reader. Before we do our reader today, I want to go back over some of the capital letters. Before we left, we were going over our capital letters all together. We went over capital A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Yes, the next letter we're going to go over is S. The capital S looks like a lowercase s, but it takes up more space. I want you to pay very close attention to the headline, the midline, and the baseline as we make our letters today. When I make my capital S, I am going to start at the headline. I am going to circle right, stop, circle left. Stop. Put your finger in the air. Make a capital S for me. Ready? Circle right, circle left. Great job. What do you think our next capital letter will be? Yes, capital T. The lowercase t is a long line down and a line across the middle. The capital T is a long line down 
and go across at the top. Put your fingers in the air, make a capital T for me. Long line down, across at the top. Good job. Our next sound, the lowercase u, looks like this. The capital U is a cup line. It starts at the top. You make a cup line and come back up. Can you put your fingers in the air and make a capital U? Ready? Start at the top. A big cup line and you stop. Our next capital letter today is capital V. The capital V is very similar to the lowercase v. The lowercase v has diagonals that stay below the midline. The capital V has a diagonal line down, a diagonal line up, and it goes between the headline and the baseline. Ready? Put your fingers in the air, make a capital V. Diagonal line down, diagonal line up. The last letter we're going to look at today is very similar to its lowercase letter as well. What is that letter? W. Great job. The capital W does exactly the same, but it's between the headline and the baseline. We're going to start at the headline. Slant all the way down, slant up, slant down, slant up. Excellent job. Today, I want you to see if you can practice your capital letters at home. Some fun ways to practice might be using sidewalk chalk outside, seeing if maybe you can write it in sand or shaving cream. There's lots of fun ways we can practice our letters at home. Maybe you can even rainbow write those capital letters using markers or crayons. You be creative. Now, our capital letters might be found in our reader as well today. Also, our reader may have some tricky words. We've been reviewing a lot of tricky words together since we've been gone. Today, I'd like to introduce a new tricky word to you. Our new tricky word today is which. Can you say that word with me? Which? This is the type of which as in which one do you like? Apples or bananas? Which was your favorite? There's a WH digraph in this word. Can you find the other digraph? That's right. It's at the end. Ch, ch, ch. The I in the middle makes the sound it. This word is w, itch, which. Can you read the word to me? Excellent reading. Kiss your brain. Another tricky word I want to introduce to you today is found in fairy tales. Ready? This word is once. Listen, once. Like once upon a time. This word is tricky because the O does not say ah. The C does not say k. And the E doesn't say anything. When we see the O, it actually makes it sound w. The C, can you tell what it says? Once. That's right. It's making the sound s like S. This word is once. Good job. Let's review the words. Tell your head, tell your hand, hold up that word when you know. Say the word when I snap. Good job. Which? Ready? In your head, in your hand, hold it up. Once. Excellent reading. We can find tricky words in lots of places. I would love to challenge you today. If you get a book down to read tonight as a bedtime story, can you find any of those tricky words in your bedtime story? 
I bet once will be there if you pick a fairy tale. Sometimes the words in our stories aren't tricky because of how they are sounding. Sometimes they're tricky because of what they mean. And we need to understand some of those words so our story makes sense. Let's go over some of those words we're going to see in our story today. This is the word mast. Mast. In our story, fix that ship. Zach's dad has a broken ship. We are going to hear the word mast. A mast is the pole that goes up the middle of a ship. Most of the time, a sail is tied to the mast. Can you find the mast in my picture? Oops. I'm sorry, loves. Yes, it's right there. This is the mast. We're also going to see that word that just popped up. This word is dent. D dent. Dent. A dent is when something gets pushed in. Look at my box. My box is not flat. My box got pushed in. My box has a dent in it. Good job. We're also going to see the word sand. 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 When I think of sand, I think of going to the beach and building a sand castle. But that is not what this word means today. Today, the word sand is something you do. This is called sandpaper. It's very rough paper. Listen. Ooh, that's rough. You rub it against wood to make the wood smooth. You will hear today that Zach's dad sands his ship. It means he takes paper like this and rubs it on his ship to make it smooth. Let's see if we can find those words in our story today. We are going to look at our Zach and Ian reader and we are going to listen to the story, Fix That Ship. Listen to see what Zach's dad has to do to fix his ship. 